Oh, hello there. I didn't see you come in. Now, if you normally listen to my videos podcast style, I strongly suggest that you watch the screen, at least for the intro part of this, as there's going to be a lot of important information. Recently, I've made a little bit of a pet project to see if I could make as immortal a build as possible by abusing Divine Shield and Aegis Aurora on a Chaos Inoculation build, and then using a couple of other mechanics to trivialize elemental damage as much as possible. This is the end result. Chaos Inoculation cast on crit, forbidden right. As you can see, my health was moving throughout that entire earlier demonstration, and that is because a depth 633 Crystal King with crit, ignite, and pen was beating on me the entire time while I was completely AFK. So needless to say, the defenses for this build absolutely do work. I'm going to be showcasing the character in more detail in the future, along with talking about breakpoints for cast on crit strike. So if any of that interests you, be sure to leave a like on the video and sub to the channel, as I'm going to be talking about it in the near future. Today's video is going to focus almost exclusively on the effects of using Aegis Aurora and Divine Shield in combination, and why this is the single strongest defensive combination currently in Path of Exile. So let's get into some of the basics, starting with the shield, and why it's so much better than just gain 5% of your maximum energy shield when you block. The short answer is, because armor scales really well now, and it's easier to scale than ever due to all the hybrid nodes on the tree in the existence of items like Skin of the Lords and Grasping Mail. So 2% of my armor when I block is about a thousand energy shield. I'd have to have close to 20,000 energy shield before percent of my ES on block is at all close to that. Which means on top of mitigating far more damage from physical hits because I'm stacking armor, I'm also recovering more energy shield when I'm hit. If I'm hit with chaos damage, well, I don't take any damage, so I just heal on block. If I'm hit with elemental damage, I do take damage because I'm using glancing blows. But unless the hit is quite large, then I'm going to just heal from it on block anyway. And with how much armor I have, honestly, anytime I block, I'm healing from it. I'm not taking damage from that. And that's where Divine Shield comes in. Divine Shield is basically that one Juggernaut Ascendancy that was really, really overpowered, but no one used because armor sucked and you had to be a Juggernaut. Well, now anyone can use it, and armor is amazing. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's an ethical violation to not have armor and determination in your build in 316. If this is you and you can hear the Templars coming right now, don't worry, the Rogue Harbor can help. Just pop a marker and they'll take care of you in no time. Tell them I sent you. But where were we? Oh right, talking about Divine Shield. 3% of physical damage prevented from hits is regenerated as energy shield per second. In other words, if you are taking physical damage and you mitigate, let's just say, 90% of that physical damage, 3% of the damage negated, or 3% of 90%, is now regenerated as energy shield. If you combine this with the massive amount of ES you're gaining on block, and the complete immunity to chaos damage, this means that getting hit by fizz damage heals you more than it damages you. You can often go completely AFK against enemies that have fizz hits, and they just don't do anything. Your regen will go up and up and up, your energy shield on block will keep procking, and you won't take damage. This is an incredibly powerful, honestly broken mechanic, and something that I expect will probably be nerfed. I'd guess the value will go from 3% down to 1.5 or even 1%. Or who knows, maybe we'll see some sort of nerf to armor, and by 317 we'll all be going back to praising our max res fizz taken as overlords. And another reason this is so effective is a lot of the dangerous sources of fizz damage in Path of Exile aren't actually pure fizz. There's a lot of enemies, Crystal King included, who convert part of their attack to physical. This is to force you to mix up your defenses, i.e. you can't just have resistances, you also can't just have armor, you need both, otherwise you'll die. But that strength that the enemy normally has is turned against them when you start healing based on the physical damage they're trying to use on you, such as by combining Divine Shield with any sort of recovery on block. In my setup, I have about 50 to 60,000 armor, which means I will be getting a nice chunk of yes back like I talked about earlier. So all in all, Divine Shield is an incredibly broken mechanic, if you combine it with Aegis Aurora, it becomes just unethical. You can AFK your way through the game. The only thing this character doesn't know how to do is die. But for now, I'm wondering, 
what's the tankiest build that you've ever played? So be sure to share that down in the comments below. Thank you for watching. And again, a special thanks to my patrons and YouTube channel members. If you want to support me, you can do so by clicking the links down in the description below or on screen right now. You can also support by making purchases through my Nexus page. Or if you just want to chill and hang out, be sure to join the Discord. Again, links for everything are down in the description below. Thank you and have a great day.